Hello, St. Gerard students and families. Mr. H here with some tips for making this time in self-isolation as pleasant as possible. Uh, of course, we're all staying at home right now because of the COVID-19 pandemic and all this kind of stuff. And if you're anything like my kids, at first you were like, oh, no school party, woo! Uh, but then after day one, after day two, you played all the video games, you watched all the videos, and you're starting to get a little bit bored. That's okay. The best way to get through this time is to find some kind of a routine. Uh, that means to pick a certain time of the day to do certain things, and then you do that at the same time every day. I'm going to give you an example, and uh, you don't have to do the exact same things that I'm doing, of course, but the good, uh, main idea is to pick a time of day and to do that. All right, so let's take a look here. I'm going to switch through my screens. Boom. Move myself out of the way. Um, here we are. Here's a sample routine that you might use, okay? Uh, this one's for March 19th. This is similar to what we did with my kids yesterday. Uh, 7 o'clock, everyone's waking up, getting dressed, eating breakfast. Around 7.30, after we eat breakfast, it's time for morning chores. Now, if you don't do chores at home, parents, this might be a good time to start. You're going to have extra people in the house. They're going to be extra, making extra mess. Why not make them do a little extra work to help out? Uh, some examples for morning chores, do your breakfast dishes, sweep the floor, make the bed. If you have a dishwasher, stack the dishwasher. Uh, just make your living space ready for the day. Then you go on, 8 o'clock, morning prayer, meditation. Meditation and prayer is a good way to stay calm, uh, to feel yourself organized, reflect over the day, what your plan is for the day. Uh, 8.15, quiet reading time. Make time for reading every day. Not just because it's a good thing that teachers tell you to do, but also it's a good way to, you know, get out of their situation. Explore other worlds. Uh, learn what other people are thinking and feeling. Uh, then also on here, you say creative writing time. Ooh. Uh, take the time to get creative. Maybe you'll find your inner writer starts to blossom. Maybe you have some things that you want to say. Get it out there. After a little bit of time of doing that, 930 round, go for a walk. Getting outside, getting some fresh air, really good, really healthy. Uh, have a snack, make sure you have energy for the rest of the morning. And here for 10 o'clock, I have project time listed. Now project time for you might be different than what it is in my family. Uh, it's different for everyone, but some ideas for project time, maybe you're gonna bake something. Maybe you're gonna learn how to fix things. Maybe you're gonna learn a new skill. Maybe you're gonna do an odd job. You know, do some research on YouTube, find out how to do something new. Uh, this is a great thing to do on project time. You block off some time every day to do something new. Okay, so you feel like you're learning something. Uh, 12 o'clock, lunch, of course. 12.30, oh, look at that, the chores are here again. Sorry kids, it's good for you, it's good for your family, it's terrific. Uh, lunch dishes, sweep the floor, laundry, vacuum, clean bedrooms. It doesn't mean do all these things. It just means, you know, uh, make some time to do some chores and then do something to make your, your living space uh, more livable every, every day. Uh, one o'clock, I've listed some fitness. We do some physical activity in our house, make sure everyone is feeling healthy and strong. Uh, then again, a little more space for quiet reading time. Uh, not a whole lot because you're already taking a, a chunk of time for doing that. Uh, just another time to feel a little calm and make your way through the day. Two o'clock, arts and crafts. Pick something that you feel creative you want to do. Draw a picture, uh, illustrate a, a story that you wrote. Uh, find, again, find something to do on YouTube that you wanted to try. All these things are great ideas. And then at three o'clock, hey, free time. Maybe after you've done a day of these fun and busy activities, uh, those videos, what do you? Those video games are starting to look pretty good. Or maybe you want to watch that video, uh, that movie that you were thinking about earlier. All of these things are, are good things, but doing too much of them, you probably feel bored and upset. So, uh, all above all, you want to find things to do that make yourself feel like you've accomplished something. Uh, you, I hope you're all well. I hope that you're all staying active. And we will be in touch very, very soon. Take care. God bless.